Hello and welcome to the Bordo Show. I am Bordo and this here is Ringmail. Why do I have Ringmail here? Well, for the past few years I've been trying to combine my two hobbies of Dungeons and Dragons and other tabletop role-playing games and LARP, live-action role-playing. I've been uh, crafting uh, a bunch of different uh, types of armor for the uh, past few years and I've been thinking about how to like make use of it, make something uh, new and interesting for other role-playing crowds that have to imagine things like armor and weapons. Why not make uh, something in real life and show examples of it? For a long time I've been thinking about how to make uh, a base armor for a beginner uh, armor smith for LARP games who doesn't have a lot of tools but has passion to craft. I've been thinking about using washers, they're like these uh, metallic rings here, uh, to make uh, different styles of armor. Uh, it's, it's a great way to uh, start your crafting career because metals are already provided, you don't have to cut it or uh, forge it or smith it or uh, something like that. Uh, and you need quite a minimal amount of materials to make it. Uh, washers are pretty cheap. For example, in this case you just need a uh, uh, cord or something like that and some base, maybe leather, maybe cloth, I used both here uh, to combine it and make something interesting. Uh, like role-playing games, D&D has ring mail or ring armor but is rarely used. Well, I'll be thinking about why is it so rarely used? Is it actually viable? Is it actually real? Is it actually historically accurate? Is it actually uh, good armor to make and use for your uh, fantasy games, be it live action or uh, imaginary? So I decided to make something like this and make other different types of armor and see how they would work in real life. First I made wa washer armor or ring mail or ring armor. Different styles here. Uh, something like this, like this. This or something like this. All of them are kind of made out of washers, large metal rings, and uh, I. It's it's an interesting craft and an interesting idea because is it viable? Kinda. Is it historically accurate? Yes, but kinda no. Uh, and does it protect you? Mostly. And it's. It's great against slashing weapons, like this, uh, this uh, saber here, uh, can't really penetrate it, but it will maybe do damage those rings over time, but you can fix it in between battles, uh, like, let's see, axe, takes all the damage, it will smart real hard wearing this armor, but um, chainmail mail armor basically doesn't protect you from the blunt trauma. This, this has a better, better chance because it's less flexible, more rigid and has larger rings, so to disperse uh, blunt trauma much further. So, like this small mallet. Yeah, this really takes all the heat. Well, not all the heat, but compared to mail, which barely, barely stops anything, this is much better option. But a piercing weapon like this, uh, Hanjal here, this goes through pretty easily here, as you can see. So, well, this is actually designed to pierce male and similar styles of armor, so it's not that shocking that this doesn't stand a chance to it. But I think it's still beneficial to wear something like this, uh, especially if it's like this. Like, rivets here fill those holes up, and leather uh, and cloth that covers it, like, minimizes all this, uh, 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 the type of damage that you can take. So, in a way, it's actually quite reasonable and viable to wear.
As for historical bases, are there examples of similar types of armor? Yes, but actually no. So, were there ring-based armors? Yes. Uh, is it so common that you can say it's a special type of category that people used often? No. It's more uh, rare cases of we have rings, we need armor, why not make something like this? So, sometimes it's kind of viable, but uh, rings have a big disadvantage because it's harder to craft something round and it leaves this kind of tiny gaps. Now I'm putting the armor on. This whole armor, well, costume was a thought and crafting exercise on how many different interesting things I could make with washers. Legs are basically made out of uh, putting metal rings, gluing them on, on a cloth piece and putting leather on top and riveting them together. Uh, and I'm using a leather strap to hold it together and a belt to hold it on myself. The uh, <clears throat> metal braces I made are the first idea actually that came to me. It's uh, washers sewn on top of a cloth or a leather. Uh, it's uh, pretty simple to make. It's one of the first things I actually made in this uh, crafting style, I would say. Uh, and it's uh, pretty beginner fr friendly. But as usual, putting armor is always easier with help, uh, help from friends, but I'm trying to manage it on my own. Uh, other than that, it's uh, quite uh, time consuming to make something like this. So I decided to craft something different, which would hopefully take less time. Uh, this is uh, the same idea as the legs, it's uh, uh, rings uh, glued on a, a cloth surface and put uh, a leather or stronger surface on top and then riveted, but it's not fully riveted, it's more uh, design and I also made whole uh, rivets uh, so I could uh, put uh, uh, the string through uh, to put it on my arm. Well, it's not as... Uh, easy and simple as I thought it would be, but it saves a few hours, maybe not even an hour, half an hour. The uh, arm brace on the uh, left took me about a few uh, hours, like four hours, it took me about three. Now I'm putting the chest piece on, which actually takes quite an effort uh, alone. So here I am on the field, uh, hitting myself with a bunch of weapons. It's actually uh, not as sharp, but it's still uh, metal saber. So I'm actually hitting myself in full force in a uh, really uh, windy village. Uh, hopefully uh, nobody noticed me and didn't call any police for a uh, madman with a, a bunch of cold weapons. Uh, uh, now I'm hitting myself with a mallet with full force and it armor pretty much absorbs most of the damage. And now I'm hitting myself with a axlet and it uh, actually works as I think it actually would work to make washer armor like this in live battle but as you can see piece and weapons it uh, almost doesn't have a chance uh, and it's uh, the armor uh, the whole construction is pretty flexible it doesn't seem as flexible it's not as flexible as chainmail of course but compared to like other metal types of armor it's pretty flexible uh, and uh, it doesn't look half bad in uh, shiny sun. It, um, it's quite an interesting design if I can brag on my own craftsmanship. Uh, up close you can see how the rivets move and how they interact with itself, how uh, chain links are holding it together and little bits of movement combines into a large flexible movement. And similar design, how we are, uh, how you can hold it with cord on uh, your arm, but it doesn't look as uniform, and uh, I think it, eh, it it looks quite well enough. So I hope you uh, will find this interesting. I'm also making another video about more uh, D&D setting uh, use of this armor, and I would love any type of uh, comment, any type of critique, any suggestion, uh, and uh, hope you stick around and watch more of my videos about this uh, topic and I hope you find it interesting. There you go. Bye.